Murray out of Tokyo Mountain Law from Matt Steele. Come on up here, Matt Murray. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'm glad I'm here for the All Ages show. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, have you guys ever noticed that uh, this guy right over here always works late? That one little light. He stays every night. You know why I'm here? I'll tell you. I can't sell my car. I can't sell it to anybody. I paid like four times the value of my vehicle. I've seen commercials on TV for like Lexuses. I have a 95 Sentra. Okay, first of all, it's not a chick car, but it's... I can't sell it. I can't get rid of it. It's, it's becoming the demon on my back, kind of like L.A. Oh, <laughs> man. We've seen 18 people up here today. 18, and now I'm number 19. This is the fastest comedy show I've ever seen in my life. Um, oh, you know, I thought to myself before I got here tonight, you know, I should just freestyle. Don't think about what you're going to say. It's a brilliant plan. Man, hindsight is 2020. Oh, actually, I, like I, 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 I'm serious, the reason I'm here, you know, believe it or not, is because of my car. I was so fed up. Um, I, I, I just got it fixed, and my dad never taught me how to fix cars at all. And so when I go in, I have to describe to the mechanic my noises. And that's just like the biggest wussiest thing you can do. I mean, when you're like, it makes sort of a ch ch woo and there's like a big, big, big dude behind the counter just going, dude, we're going to take all your money. <laughs> I'm just, oh, man, I knew the second I bought my car that I spent too much money because they started cheering. I could see it in my rearview mirror. They let off balloons. There's a blimp that flew over. There's a plaque at the Nissan dealership that says, S uh, Sucker 1985. 85? That means I got my car when I was like six. <laughs> Um, man, I pulled a date right out of my ass and I can't even get it close. I'm at 95 and I'm going, 1976. Man. Oh. Man, I'm telling you. I love my dad. I gotta say, I heard another guy talking about his dad, but I, I just, I don't, I don't think I'm his kid. Um, I call my dad and, and, and all I want to do is just get off the phone. Because the conversation always starts the same way. I had a guy call him up and go, Dad, I want a million dollars, and I shot a man. And he would go, need some money? And, boy, that, that is just, that is an awful joke. It is true, but it's an awful joke. Um, well, I guess I, I saw a little Jesus light up in the back, and I'm going to say one other thing before I go. My set was brought to you by the letter E. That's, that's all I have to say. Thanks a lot. You guys are great. It's very, very clever, funny. Very funny guy, and Matt Steele. It's coming. I think you know what I'm talking about. Y2K. It's coming. I gotta tell you guys, I don't think it's gonna be computers to kill us. I think it's gonna be deer. <laughs> deer are gonna kill us. Think about it. Nobody ever sees a deer during the day. And when you do see a deer, they look guilty. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll probably be computers. Uh, <laughs> growing up, my dad was a clown, a professional clown. And um, there's nothing freakier than being cussed out by a clown. My brother and I would be playing and he'd come in and go, Son of a bitch, get off the table! That's like good and evil coming together all at once. That's really scary. You know, I'll tell you though, with my dad being a clown, he never taught me how to work on cars. And uh, so now when I go into the mechanics, I have to go in and I have to make that noise. I have no idea what I'm talking about, so I just have to go, it sounds like it's blur, 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 bl
a big fat guy behind the counter saying, man, I'm going to get all his money. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, has anybody here seen those Mount St. Helen ash pens? You know what I'm talking about? Like if you go to Mount St. Helens or wherever where the, the volcano erupted, they have these little pens that have ash in them. And I was thinking it'd be really cool if when you die and they cremated you, they put you in a little pen. And that way, like at the funeral, everybody could take home like a little gift. <laughs> you know, maybe like a little slogan on the side that says like, man, that was fun. I don't know. Well, you know what, I'll tell you. I just, I have to go now. I know that was very quick, but I just want to try some new stuff out tonight. So thanks a lot. I'm Matt. Thank you. On the stage, to hang with us just a little bit longer. Very funny guy coming to the stage. Please welcome Matt Steele. Well, you know it's coming. Uh, Y2K. Um, I don't think it's going to be computers that destroys us. I think it's going to be deer. Think about it. What are they doing all day long? You don't see them during the day. And when you do see them, they look a little startled, like they're up to something. Okay, it'll be computers. Um, <laughs> you know, I broke up with my girlfriend this weekend, and uh, it was really rough. Um, I doubt they'll find her body. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they will. Uh, oh man, I was thinking uh, the other day, you know, wouldn't it be really cool if like a rock star was your aunt or uncle? Like, uh, what if Sting were your uncle or Madonna was your aunt? But then I thought, you know who would be my uncle? It'd probably be like Keith Richards. That would really suck, because Keith Richards is that one uncle where, you know, everybody in your family's like, kind of stay, keep the small children away from him. <laughs> you know, if, if Keith Richards was uh, in my family and he was my uncle, my mom would be the one to point out the obvious. She'd be the one who would say stuff like, oh, it looks like uh, Uncle Keith's had a little too much to drink. <laughs> and I'm like, Mom, uh, Keith Richards is doing heroin in the living room. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know if anybody has ever seen this or not, but uh, if you go to the uh, Mount St. Helens uh, uh, souvenir shop, they have these ash pens that are filled with Mount St. Helens ash. And I always thought it would be really cool that when I died, if I, they cremated my body and put them in those pens instead, and then passed them out at the funeral. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Keith Richards is my uncle. <laughs> All right, actually, that's all my time. That was like a minute and a half, but thanks a lot, guys. All right, let's hear it. Woo! Matt Steele.